Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the 900. So, last episode, we uh, took on a rescue mission. One and a half skull. I was hoping for medium mech parts, but we did not get anything other than lights, unfortunately. And we took a contract and came here to Sacramento. So, we are going to pull off the contract that we took. Um, it is a two skull assassinate mission, so it might be a little tricky, but we'll see how it, how it pans out here. Before we do that, though, we're going to go into the barracks. I want to have a look at my mech warriors and see where we're at here. So, Steve, yeah, we're still waiting on stuff. I mean, I could take piloting, but right now... Actually, you know what? I am. The plus one unsteady threshold might help out in this battle. So, we're going to spend the points right now and do that. Um, Hellburner, we are working on getting... Um, oh, we can get it now, too. We want to get tactics up because we want to get um, uh, called shop bonus. But you know what? I think we're going to wait. There's no point in spending money on higher range skills that she's not really using at this moment. So we'll turn that down and just leave it like this for now. Uh, or Ripley, the talented Ms. Ripley. Um, we're still waiting for the called shop bonus, so we're going to hold off on that. Uh, it would be nice to get piloting up a little bit, but like I said, the called shop bonus is more important. Rover, who's not in combat right now. Uh, we were waiting for Bulwark, so we will take that eventually, but not right now, because it'll cost us a bit of cash uh, in wages. So, Starfish, we were waiting for called Shop Bonus. So that's what we're going to take, um, and we're going to confirm this. And then Weasel, I don't really have enough for anything here right now for her, so we're just going to leave it like that. So, uh, let's jump straight into our contract now. going to launch it. And... I think we're going to go with this one. I think I want sensor lock for sure on this one. I want to stay out of way if they're um, heavier mechs. We do have the Panther with this one here with the uh, PPC and the LRM5. So we can hit from long range. And we do have the uh, double plus large laser that that uh, increases our damage to 50. So if we can stay at a distance, we'll, we'll try and do that. And we'll deploy and get this done. Yeah, I know it might require more firepower than this, but we're going to take a shot at this one and see what happens. Yeah, so it is a lunar environment, so I think we'll probably be okay. Now, I've never played an assassinate mission on a lunar environment before. So, oh my god, they've got two lances. So this should be interesting. So what we're going to do is we need to take this guy, this lance out here first. Yeah. As long as this guy doesn't move in, I think we might be okay. Can we close with these guys? We can't. So let's try and use these rocks here to our advantage. Aye, aye. Move orders, okay, let's go. This looks like a prime spot for yeah, ambush. thanks Captain Obvious. You know, worst case scenario, we take whatever salvage we can get and get out of here. Uh, Starfish, let's get you up over here. Uh, let's get my main guy. I know, thank you. Oh, we got contacts here. So, what do I want to do here? Waiting for orders. On it. Um... Hell burner can't burn very fast this way. Um, I really hesitate to jump. Let's just move back here. I don't want to move the Vindicator in. Uh, so let's move back here as well. Alright, let's see what everybody does here. So it's a striker and a light. So let's reserve. How much of the map board do we have over here? A good chunk. Okay. I think we can manage our terrain here. Nice big hills, right, that separates us from them. If we can wipe these guys out fast, we can cool down before... Well, maybe not. These guys are moving pretty quick here. Uh, let's reserve. OK, 
Okay, we're going to reserve again. So these guys are moving pretty quick. So chances are we're up against a bunch of lights here. I'm including the vehicles in the lights because most of them are one shot. Well, one shot for the large laser and the PPC too, so that's probably a striker. So let's see what we're up against now. Um, do we want to go... Can we see everybody here from somewhere? We can. And we just jump out next turn. Uh, let's do it this way. I want to get everyone within range, so if I can shoot somebody, I will. Okay. Panther, we got to get rid of that guy. Striker. Striker. Um. Let's remove the close striker. We don't want to let, the let we don't want to let them get eyes on. So, this guy's got full armor. Okay, interesting. We'll fire everything. You hit all four in the same spot? Yep. Okay. Oh my god, that's awesome. Not much left of him. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Alright, Talon and Ms. Ripley, let's get you in here. Let's not get too close. We don't want to let them see us. Uh, and I think maybe the panther sh well <sighs> if we get lucky we can take the striker this turn panther's a lot harder to hit but probably a lot more important 520 armor with that PPC there locust is a better chance to hit pair of SRM 2s and mediums uh, Let's try for the striker. Let's see if we can finish this guy off this turn. So we'll fire. Okay, that's a hit. Okay, three more. Now let's get Jesus up here. And we'll put the large on the same guy. And fire. Okay, so that's two down. Seven to go. Enemy unit destroyed. It's really this panther we want. Um, I want to get Hellburner into here. Because we need to hit this uh, panther hard on the one side next turn. If we can. So let's see what they're doing. Crap. Um, so let's jump you back. Not shooting anything. Let's sensor lock this pan panther. Locked on. Watch the heat. Yeah, I know. No choice. We had no choice. Okay, talented Ms. Ripley. We don't want to move too close. Um, that panther's got really low movement, so that's the reason why I'm not too worried about this. Let's do this. And I'm gonna use up the precision strike with the PPC and go this red, I think. Actually, you know what? Ripley doesn't have what's the chance to hit with the precision strike? Twenty-two. So we're not going to use that. We're just going to fire straight out. The Vindicator will go Precision Strike against the arm. Because we've really only got enough for one, I think. Full on okay, at least they all hit. And we're going to reserve. I want to see where these guys come into here. If these guys are like locusts and stuff, I think we'll probably be okay. Wow. He's bulwarking. Okay. That makes sense. Um, Jesus. Got 
Gonna push this guy back. Oh, this guy's been hitting the CT. We want to continue that route. Fifty damage in the CT would be nice. Fifty-four percent chance to hit, forty percent in the arm. Let's try and core this guy. He really is our only threat right now. Okay, nice hit. Order. Problem is if we jump in though, really great chances to hit. Let's do this. Firing and we'll fire everything on this guy. Hopefully we get a CT hit, but let's find out. Ah, really? A spider. Yeah, the harassment's going to be real here in a, sh in a short minute. Uh... We do have precision strike now. Let's get right in here. I'm taking a chance on this, but we are going to do it. Going to go for CT. And we're going to fire three. And let's hope we get... He's bulwark though, so... Can only do about 45 damage, but still... Engaging. Of course. Really? Okay, we penned. PPC is coming next. Okay, two spiders. That might be all for their auxiliary force. Although spiders are fast, so maybe it's not. Commander. Ripley. Let's get into here, see if we can detect anything else back there. Acknowledged. Let's see what we can get on this guy. We can fire both, so we're going to do so. Really had to hit the leg, eh? No, another one coming. Damn. Firestarter, great. Hey. It's like the worst mech that could show up here. Uh, we gotta cool off, so we're just gonna move hey. back here. Okay. Brace. Another mech. Yeah, I don't know. So let's check and see if these guys are all full armor. It's the the heat is going to kill us here. Yeah, they're all full armor. So we're going to have to go against this main guy here somehow. Maybe move up this way. But they're going to be harassing us the whole time though. So there's not much we can really do. Uh, we need to move full, full out here. Get some evasion on going. And we're going to fire on this guy. And we'll fire everything because we have no choice. All weapons committed. Oh, I bet, I bet you it's down like two points or something on the right torso. Five. Yeah, see. <laughs> what do. Really? Really? Okay, so that guy's a medium mech. Reporting minimal damage. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, he could be a heavy, though. Yeah, crap. We tried our hardest to not have that happen. <sighs> okay, who needs evasion here? Let's start off by trying to finish this panther up if we can. We can only fire two now. Let's hope we get lucky. Right torso, I'd be happy. There we go. Okay, nice. 
that should have transferred to the CT as well. So he should only have about 20, what, 29 points left in the CT. Okay, you're moving next. Barely hit, Commander. That's not a barely hit. Orders. Hmm. Location confirmed. Thirty points left. Uh, question is, we start working on somebody else. Like we're way over in heat now, right? Let's just brace. Let's get some heat back. Okay. Yeah, I saw that. All right, starfish. Okay. Thirty left. I don't know. Maybe we get lucky. Let's just fire. Yeah, that should do it. Okay. Alright, so they got five mechs left here. Plus the Plink Plink LRMer. Firestarter should be the next target. Yeah, we c oh, there's two of them. Really? They're gonna burn us alive. Armor. Yeah, you gotta sprint out of here, man. This is crazy. So, okay, Vindicator. Gotta keep moving forward. We do have called shot though. I mean, what's the chance we get a headshot on this guy? Probably pretty darn low. I think it's more valuable if I sprint and lose some heat here. So we can get major fire suppression going next turn. So that might be a Vindicator we're up against over there. Alright, Ripley, you gotta go first. Do we just try and make a re- like... I don't think we can get up these hills here. We probably can back here. But with five, like, five guys chasing us... It's a big issue. I mean, the other thing we could do... Is try and catch these guys in a crossfire. With those flamer units, there's just nothing we can, like, if they close, we're dead. Well, let's try this. I mean, we can always withdraw if we had to. 
Gonna take a pot shot at this guy's head. Maybe we get lucky. How much armor does it have? Enough. Fire everything. Or should we go for CT? Let's go for CT. It's probably gonna be a quicker, faster way to death. Of course. Why would you hit anywhere I want you to hit? Okay, moonwalk into where? Yeah, they pinned now. <sighs> Hope that wasn't a leg hit. No, that's where my large laser is. 30 left in the arm. They're really making short work of that arm. Standing by. Affirmative. Let's shoot this locust in the back. Can only use two, so we'll fire. Got the angle. Taking a shot. Oh, there's the leg. Hey, hey, things are looking up. Crap. Rap. I wonder if I should withdraw before we lose that large laser. Hey. This seems crazy. And it certainly is. Uh, if it's stupid and it works, it's still stupid and I have got lucky. They've got two mechs to go yet, a spider and a, and a um, fire starter. That's four medium lasers. If I block them... Yeah, no, that's it. I'm done. I'm going uh, to withdraw from this one. It's really a cost against what I'm willing to lose. Not being able to jump and shoot is like a pain on this map. Um, I mean, the only th other thing to do would be to attack, like move in and melee this guy. But then I'm open to the fire starter roasting me alive. And that still doesn't stop this guy from moving away and attacking my Vindicator. We lose that arm, we lose a large laser and a medium laser. It's down to five. Yeah, it's just not something I'm willing to risk at this point. So let's just withdraw. The commander yeah, so my thinking on that was, I mean, it's going to cost us more, more than 12,000 to repair. But my thinking was, if we lose the arm, we're losing a lot more time than just repairing what we have right now. And if we lost a large laser, we've lost hitting power, which we don't want to lose. I think until we get another medium mech, two skull missions might be off the board. I don't know, it just really depends. Like maybe I'll maybe I'll switch out this LRM5 for an I don't know, for something else. Yeah, I don't know, really. 
So we're going to take the panther part. We actually did get, we did okay. We got some stuff out of this, so don't feel too bad. All right, so let's see what we have to repair here. We've got 13 days before the end of the month. <sighs> Jenner, how much is that going to cost us? Two days. Panther is going to be two days. So, yeah, that was the right choice, I think. We're going to repair them both. Um, and I think what we're going to do, let's have a look at the command center here. I think there is... Was there not... Witness protect. Well, you know what? At two and a half, I don't think even with an escort that's going to be worth it. So we're going to move. We got repossession here. Uh, APN 24 days. Where is APN now? Battle in the lowlands. Get a free ride out of here. Uh, right here. Medium gravity. One and a half skull planet. That could be more our style, I think, right now. Yeah, so let's do that. We got enough money to the end of the month. This is a one skull mission. Should be easy to pull off. Uh, let's view the contract. And we'll take this one. Since it is a one skull mission, we're going to leave it here to get some cash out of it. And we will accept that and get going. Yeah, so... You know, I still am not really ready for anything above one, one and a half skulls. I, up that job you asked for, I think once we get another medium mech, everything will change. Especially if we can get a 55 tonner. I'd even take a crab. Ready to go over finance? So there's our financial report. I was hoping to get a second lance running, but... It's just not not really feasible. Please stop, Darius. Uh, do I want someone to be drunk? Sure, why not? Oh, really? Well, morale's gone up. Well, at least we'll be traveling during that time. So we're getting loaded between planets, it looks like. Yeah, so as I was saying, I mean, I don't think... If we pick up a medium mech, it'll certainly be uh, feasible to... Like, that last mission would have been a different story if we had two mediums, I think. The heat inefficiency, too, is another thing that's killing us. So I'll know better next time that not to take the... Uh, yeah, thanks, Darius. Or... Uh, yeah, so uh, I think it. Uh, I won't take the uh, Jenner on another one of those missions. I think it'll be the Spider next time. Um, let's not proceed just yet. Let's check out the store first, and then the hiring hall, and then I think I'll call it for. Oh, they got Vindicator parts. Really? We got one Vindicator part already. I mean, if we go all cash here, leg mod double plus, um, if we go all cash here, I know I said I wasn't going to buy any parts, but we should, probably should. We're having a hard enough time. Um, let's have a look at the base here real quick. What do we have in storage? So for medium mechs, Kintaro, Shadowhawks, parts, Wolverine, Crab. We don't really have anything that's got any close to being completed here. Got the two Orion parts and lights. We've got, well, we got almost got a fire starter, which we could replace the spider with. Got another spider here. Potential, commando, potential. Yeah. Okay, uh, command center real quick. See what else is here. Come on. So... So repossession, we should have no problem doing, I think. Uh, it's going to be armored vehicles, but it looks like payroll seizure, we could probably do. Um, ambush convoy, maybe. 
settling a grudge we could probably do. Um, yeah, so when we come back next time, we'll finish up this contract mission, and then we'll see what else we can do on this planet. Um, yeah, but if you liked the video, drop a like. If you can think of anything that I could have done differently on that mission, because it was pretty darn tricky. Um, I know the Two Skull was was probably above our shot at it, but I was really hoping for a, a one lance of like kind of medium and light mechs, and then the uh, main guy at the end. But anyway, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my to my uh, channel, please do so. And until next time, we'll see you all later.